Hi everyone and welcome to my review of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Uh, I was quite uh, anticipating this movie to be not as good as uh, many had expected but this movie really uh, surprised me uh, in a good way. Uh, I was having this feeling because of uh, the two hour duration because multiverse and when you have uh, Scarlet Witch involved uh, this is a quite deep topic if you will which is very much inspired by the House of M uh, saga in comics uh, and it, it really was like a concern for me that how would they be able to encapsulate all of it in a two hour time frame but hats off to Sam Raimi who uh, did a phenomenal job now before I start into the review, I would like to remind those who haven't watched this movie to please uh, stop watching it now because this is a spoiler review and uh, I don't want to ruin it for uh, each and every one of you who still is waiting to watch this movie. What I would advise you uh, if you haven't watched this movie uh, to please read Avengers Disassembled and House of M from comics. But at the same time, if you haven't watched WandaVision series, please do it now. So by the time you watch uh, Multiverse of Madness, uh, things will start making sense to you. So here it goes. Uh, first up is the, the negative point that I have uh, is concerning America Chavez. Now, uh, the negative point is concerning the fact that her origin story could have been uh, shown in a Disney Plus series instead of a movie that would be shown to uh, audiences, uh, young kids and so forth. This has been uh, the controversy behind uh, the banning of this movie in big markets such as China and Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia may not be a global uh, market yet when it comes to movie goers, but it is the largest market in the region. and. Uh, Disney recently issued a very condescending statement by saying that we don't need China. Uh, you need every fan who is willing to pay uh, the money to watch your movie, to buy your comics, to buy your merch. And uh, sounding so condescending like uh, one of your employees, Kelly Sue DeConnick, who happens to be who happened to be a writer for Captain Marvel series, when she infamously said when. Uh, she was uh, coming across criticism for her writings in uh, of uh, Captain Marvel. She said that if you don't like my writing, don't buy my book. It didn't end really well because sales of Captain Marvel title and other titles that do not resonate with uh, with the audiences that are that are becoming more and more about the woke culture that is dominating the media scene in the end their sales are tanking big time in dc we have seen a similar problem happening with superman son of kal-el and i don't think this would be such a wise move to go ahead furthermore uh, by alienating your fans uh, who are in markets of uh, saudi arabia gcc china uh, you are just simply uh, pushing them to go for other pop culture properties that are not Marvel, not Disney. And I don't think this is such a wise move because it has taken a great deal uh, for DC and Marvel to win over fans in these markets because even back in the 80s and 70s, their distribution distributor model was so flawed that comics never reached this part of the world or even when they reached they were very limited uh, uh, for a good number of years people weren't able to read english comics uh, because comics that were available were mostly translated so this is something that needs to be looked into uh, with 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 cooler heads if you will uh, this thing needs to be accepted by the American media that uh, what works in America, Canada or much of Western Europe or even much of the world may not, it's not going to be acceptable in uh, a, a big number of uh, countries that still see and they don't want their young kids to come across a different concept of family other than the union of a male and a female. Now, uh, the other negative part is that this movie is two hours long and uh, it, 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 
a lot of aspects a lot of things could have been included if this movie had been slightly longer i mean 2 hours 20 minutes could have been sufficient uh which is why i think that because they wanted to finish uh, this entire story in 2 hours it was a good plot uh, i would say a wonderful plot but the ending was not as strong as house of m because what we find is that uh wanda or scarlet witch who is driven by madness suddenly has a change of heart when she sees her own children being scared of her from another dimension and uh i think there would have been a much better way to end this movie instead of on this uh, sudden change of heart uh this i think in my opinion was the weaker uh, side uh, that that could have been done in a much better way later on wanda when she realizes that what she has done she destroys the wonder god temple and dies with it presumably it's it remains to be seen whether she is going to be making a comeback or not but the way elizabeth olsen has portrayed the character is par excellence uh, and same goes for dr steven strange in fact every cast member that we saw has done a great job uh, a good thing was to see new characters being introduced as part of the marvel cinematic universe uh, we saw a big boa we saw the illuminati uh, finally making its appearance with a different roster but uh, seeing john krasinski uh, jim halpert from the office as reed richards was a sigh of relief because this had been this was being requested by fans for more than 5 years in fact or almost a decade that this guy needs to be reed richards and they showed him as reed richards and he portrayed the role marvelously then you had uh, uh lashana lynch as maria rambo uh, uh portraying captain marvel again i i i much prefer to this day because i grew up reading uh monica rambo being captain marvel so seeing maria rambo as being captain marvel was also something quite uh, quite exciting and then we have anson mount uh, reprising his role as the black bolt similar to what charlie cox uh, had done in spider-man no way home or what vincent d'onofrio uh, did in hawkeye series the biggest surprise appearance was which was quite expected because we had realized uh, we had recognized the voice was that of uh, Sir Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier and seeing him making an entry in the hover chair that was created by Jim Lee in the 90s was the best highlight of the entire movie uh Captain Carter Haley Atwell uh she deserved a spot there because I really liked Uh, her story in the what if series and the most important thing is that uh, the 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 tragic undertone that we always find within doctor strange where he is no matter which dimension he is in he and christine can never be together because that's destiny this important message about destiny is 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 something that i really appreciate and i think they have done a great job uh, in the marvel cinematic universe furthermore the concept that uh, what we see in our dreams when we see ourselves in our dreams that's actually the our 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 reality in another dimension in another universe this was mind blowing to say the least and in in that respect i mean it brought a lot of philosophical depth uh, or richness uh, within uh, the context of superheroes and it makes you know things like these are uh, are not only there to take your imagination to a new level it, it they, they also make you realize and reflect on uh, our very existence in the ontological and cosmological sense so uh, the final verdict is please watch do watch this, this but before that uh, make sure that you have seen wonder vision and make sure that you have read uh, avengers disassembled and house of m if you like this review 
please share it subscribe to my youtube like my facebook page follow me on instagram follow me on twitter and if you are into superhero gaming please make sure to follow me on twitch thank you so much once again for watching